Hey everybody, welcome to How to Dominate the Corners Like Crosby. And this is another six part series where we're going to stack the mechanics that Crosby uses to be able to dominate in the corners just like this. Now, uh, this is gonna focus a little less on puck protection mechanics and more on playmaking mechanics. And you might be asking yourself, well, is that even possible? Are there actually playmaking mechanics? And I can tell you that yes, there are. And that's what we're going to go over in these six weeks. And there are actual things you can do with your head posture and your eye posture to improve your playmaking skills. It's not some sort of magic. There are actual mechanics for that. And so here they are. In week one, we're going to cover head mechanics, head position, how to take a look to scan the ice. Um, and then in week two, we're going to get into something a little bit more advanced. So positioning the head. Um, when we are under pressure, what do we do in that situation? In week three, we're going to go super deep into eye position. Yes, eye mechanics, and that can actually really improve your playmaking mechanics. And um, in week four, we're going to get into the actual mechanics and the posture for puck protection, how that combines with the head and eye positioning. And then week five, we're going to talk about how to combine mechanics to spin off, how to create momentum one way and spin off the other way uh, to really fool defenders. And then the last week is the secret to no look passes. So we're going to stack everything together as we always do to come up with that last, you know, game winning piece, which is those no look passes. So that's what we're going to go to work on. Now, you might be asking yourself like, oh, Jason, like, why are you, you know, qualified to talk about this whole process? And it's because I've done so many crazy things to try to improve my playmaking. You don't even want to know. It would be there's things like hypnosis, going into dark rooms and looking at 3D balls at the at the university to try to improve my uh, my cognitive ability, which helped, by the way. But most players don't look before they get the puck. Instead, they get the puck, then look. Meanwhile, great playmakers like Crosby don't wait until they get the puck to look. They look before they get the puck. And it's a pretty simple distinction. But here we are. Let's take a look. He, he loses the puck a little bit. And you can see his head look up here. You can see really so subtle. His eyes in, are here. They're looking at the puck. Then look here, right there, just in that frame you can see his head actually turns and his eyes come up ice here. Now he hasn't touched the puck yet. So his eye, his head came up, he's looking at what's coming, then he goes back to the puck, then he picks it up, and then he gets his head up ice again, and now he's back to the puck. So this is what great playmakers do that most players don't, is they just simply turn their head prior to getting the puck. So that's the first head position is just simply to turn your head. Now, I'm going to show you a drill to actually make that happen. I'm going to show you this going uh, wrong. Okay. So here is a uh, one, of our, one of my players. He's going to dump the puck in, turn his head the wrong way, not feel comfortable, mess it up. Okay. And here's him doing it right. Head turn, make the pass. Boom. So here's the actual drill. Head turn, pick up the puck, make the pass. This is the mechanics. So a lot of players will come to here and not turn their head. They'll look at the puck, get the puck, then turn their head up. Then they're too slow in making the pass. Now let's talk a li little bit about some of the common mistakes. So the first and most common mistake, as with everything in Train 2.0, is that players don't practice these subtle things. So the subtle distinction of turning your head the wrong way or not turning your head at all and not practicing turning your head then making a play like we see Crosby doing here you see and it's much more subtle here I'm aware but he's still turning his head so eyes at the puck eyes up ice back to the puck so when you don't practice it it'll feel unnatural if you don't practice it once you practice it, it starts to feel more natural with reps and awareness comes mastery and then you'll lack the correct timing like you can see here Dexter's having trouble with the timing and he's a little off balance and if you're not feeling comfortable doing it in a practice are you going to do it in a game? Of course not. So uh, that's the first common mistake is simply not practicing it. And then the other common mistake is looking the wrong way. Um, so you can see Dexter is looking to his left and then picking up the puck to his right and then um, just whiffing on, on the puck. So one of the things that uh, we actually see uh, the players do a really good job of here is that once they get better at this, they take a route to the puck. So you can actually see Otto actually takes a route to the puck that allows him to turn his head the same way and then make the pass the same way. It's not a rule, by the way, that you have to turn your head the same way, but it's going to feel more comfortable. It's going to be more efficient. Um, and when you turn your head the other way, um, as we see here in this clip, you just get off balance and you lose the opportunity to track the puck. 
So that is a common mistake. It's not a, you, it's not that you must always turn your head the same way, but you're gonna find it easier and you're gonna want to take a route to the puck that allows you to do that correctly. Um, and then the last one is turning your head, but not actually seeing anything. So, you know, it's totally possible to actually turn your head without actually having your eyes focus on anything. Um, and that's not the idea. The idea is not just to like, give a cursory look of your head. It's to actually have your eyes pick up what is around you when you turn your head, then pick up the puck, then make the pass. So that's another common mistake. Now, I want to come back to this because um, before we go into the drill, because I just want to like doubly emphasize that all the little hypnosis and uh, like uh, the little video games that I played, and I'm, I'm not minimizing them because I spent a lot of time on them and they did help. All the video games I played, the Cognizance, the IntelliGym, all of these things, none of these things added up to simply looking. I would go back to collect pucks and I wouldn't look until I got the puck. And then I wondered why it was so hard for me to make a play. And um, most players do this. Here is the drill you're gonna do this week here. So you're gonna chip into the corner, shoulder check, and then pass. So you're gonna do 10 per side for three sets and do it at least three days this week. Now, if you don't have uh, someone to pass to, just set up a target to pass to. And the whole key is that you're going to come in, do a shoulder check, look back at the puck, make the pass. You'll find that you'll be able to make the pass a lot quicker, but the rhythm might feel odd to you at first. So keep doing the reps, and I promise you the rhythm will start to feel more natural and you'll start to get more and more excited about the rhythm and the speed that you can actually bring to this. So those are your drills this week uh, is chip it to the corner, shoulder check, make the pass. 